It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy. The show is 5.45 live on deck tonight. Uh, we'll talk about the protests coming up here, a 40-year birthday party for Vermont Yankee that could end in arrest, more cops and robbers, uh, and I'm going to... Uh, Finish all my sentences by slowing down the last three words. All that and more. And remember, we do it all in 15 minutes, so stick with us here on 545 Live. You're back. Who's back? Gotta take him with me. A little scouting mission's good practice for a boy's age. Do you forget how awful it was the last time you ran whiskey? I guess I do. Welcome back to this March 19th, uh, 2012 edition of 545 Live. I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy. We're going to jam-pack the next 14 minutes, 13 minutes and 40 seconds here uh, and take you through into the regularly scheduled news at 6 o'clock. That's footage from the trailer to Disappearances, the Vermont-made film from Marlboro College, uh, Professor Jay Craven, based on the novel by Frank Howard Mosier. Craven is set to begin production this Wednesday in Marlboro on his fourth and supposedly last Mosier adaptation, Northern Borders, which will star an Academy Award-nominated cast that includes Bruce, Bruce Dern, uh, though it should be noted that Chris Christopherson won't be around uh, to be awesome in this one. <laughs> so, all <laughs> oh, right. Boy. With robberies aplenty in the local news stratosphere, we'll jump right in. Brattleboro Police have connected Amber G. Monty to the Canal Street Gulf Station robbery, which occurred last month. Police have issued an arrest warrant for Monty for assault and robbery. Police Detective Lieutenant Michael Carrier says that Monty walked into the Gulf Station on February 26th and demanded money from the clerk, claiming that she had a weapon, and left the station with an unknown amount of money. Monty, who resides in Bellis Falls, is being held at the Cheshire House of Corrections in Keene, New Hampshire, on unrelated charges. And as police lock down one case, another pops up with BPD searching for a man who robbed the Canal Street Circle K station last Saturday. Uh, stills of the robber taken from the station surveillance cameras have been released by the Brattleboro Police Department. Let's see if we can get that up on the screen. Uh, police say that the man walked into the station just before midnight. Uh, on Saturday, demanded money and left with an unknown amount of cash. The Brattleboro Police are asking that anyone with information about this robbery contact them. Uh, their tip line at 802-251-8188. All right, we'll move on uh, with uh, Thursday. Big day for a lot of folks. I'm hoping it'll be a big day for 545 Live as we head uh, take the walk ourselves from the common to VY headquarters on Old Ferry Road to catch some of uh, what promises to be quite a day. Um, the day will begin uh, with a brief rally in Brattleboro. I'll get you to roll this here teleprompter oh, for a second. Oh, teleprompter. This is off the Saving Green website, which is why I'm staring directly at you. <laughs> the day will begin with a brief rally at Bra the Brattleboro Commons at 11 a.m., followed by a 3.5-mile walk up Route 5 Putney Road to Entergy Headquarters on Old Ferry Road. Um, and uh, there's going to be... Uh, some nonviolent protests going on here where uh, supporters can watch safely from across the street uh, while those uh, interested in nonviolent protest will uh, head to cross onto Entergy property. Now, I thought uh, an interesting quote off the Safe and Green website for anybody out there um, wanting to get involved with this protest. This should be noted. All participants in the nonviolent direct action are required to receive training in nonviolence and have previously joined an affinity group that's from Safe and Green off their website, so they do not want this mishandled at all. This is about a peaceful protest, and uh, they're going to take it from there. Uh, again, more can be found uh, on their <coughs> website, Googling Safe and Green Vermont. Right. And uh, we'll be out there with the cameras. Should be a wild we ride. Indeed. We'll see what we can catch. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully we don't get caught, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it did occur to me. Uh, it has been known to happen in the past, so we'll have to make sure we... At least the uh, new $3,000 HD uh, BCTV cameras remain on the right. <laughs> the legal side of the line there. So. For sure. All right. Uh, Cell phones only after that. <laughs> that's right. Uh, next one's yours, Joe. All right. Well, with all the talk of Thursday's protest in opposition to Vermont Yankee, the plant's many area supporters may be sliding under the radar. This prompted a rally over the weekend with more than 80 residents gathering at the plant's gates to cheer on employees coming to and from work and tote the VY equals green power campaign with Vermont Yankee site Vice President Chris Wamser telling the reformer, quote, 
There are people out there that believe nuclear power is a safe and viable energy solution. Next, Saturday's Representative Town Meeting in BCTV is gearing up for a live five-camera shoot complete with sign language interpretation. The meeting, which begins at 8.30 a.m., will show live on BCTV Channel 10, just two clicks up the dial, and stream in its entirety at brattlebrotv.org. Last week, district reps gathered at the Academy School for the first of two informational meetings to prep what promises to be another year of intense debate over, as always, the money. Something Town Energy Coordinator Paul Cameron says is there if we want it. We know this will pay off. Uh, we helped the town uh, two years ago apply for federal stimulus funds to install um, LED light fixtures in the transportation center that have cut electric consumption by 25% and so far saved over $4,800 annually. All right, uh, we'll jump into weather ever so briefly. Did I, oh. I cut you off? No? No, no, not at all. <laughs> Coming up, weather. All Looks right. like it's going to be good for a few more days. Unbelievable. Let's see what they say at the high school. Here we go. Well, um, today it's going to be really warm. We got a high of 76 and a low of 44. Um, going over tomorrow, it's going to be a little cloudy maybe, but whatever. Still really warm with a high of 69, a low of 49. Should be great. Have a nice day. Back to the desk. All right, uh, that's uh, a snippet of uh, this morning's BUHS TV, Brattleboro Union High School's morning news advisory program, which uh, includes that weather highlight. They do sports, uh, morning uh, bulletins at the school, all like that. It's a 15 minute powerhouse of a program. Uh, under the tutelage of Gary Blomgren and Karen Ruazzi, who do uh, quite a job up there. It shows 10 a.m. on BCTV Channel 10 live weekday mornings, excluding Wednesday when they take a well-deserved day off. And then we rebroadcast it in its entirety uh, at 6 p.m. directly following this here 545 Live. Uh, we can just throw the weather up quickly on the screen here as well. They have uh, the, the following few days, but I, I want to make sure we uh, just take a look and see, uh, is the, the big question... Is it gonna? Is it gonna last, Joe? That's that's on everybody's mind. Mm. Uh, and uh, it looks at uh, least for a few days. That's uh, 82 what? now. Look at that. Wednesday and Thursday, 80 and 82. Ooh. It's it's just so hard to Shazam. believe. Shazam. Uh, that um, is our <laughs> weather report. We're that's gonna. Some weather. <laughs> That's all we need to say. Shazam. That's really all you need to say about the weather these days. Um, we are going to wrap up this show here and let you get back to uh, maybe we've even given you just a little bit of time. You can go into the kitchen, make a, yourself a slice of toast with jam or something before you head on over to the World News at 6. A few things before we wrap, though. Uh, BC TV types stick right here on Channel 8 uh, at 10.30 p.m. tonight for the second episode of the program, Living and Dying, which is uh, the latest episode from Hospice, their program about uh, um, that difficult transition in everyone's life. So, All right, that's... What's left? The, that's, What's left? It's black on the teleprompter. It's, it's blank. We, oh, uh, no. We're, are we just going to talk for... Uh, we could wing it for four minutes and 42 seconds. Little, uh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. We'll thumb wrestle, yeah. All right, uh, that means it's time to do the spiel, which is uh, for BCTV and 545 Live. I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy. Thanks to Nolan Edgar, our new intern, who's been working so hard on this show. Vlasta Papelka, our operations manager, uh, who also slaves away to get us... Uh, Get, help us get it together is really what needs to happen with the two of us. We need a get it together agent uh, on our side. Uh, to our content specialists, Maria Dominguez, Paige Martin, and Ian Keel, thanks so much. Uh, that's all I got, Joe. Thanks for joining me at the desk to make it uh, just a, a little bit more interesting here. Very good. All right. Night, everybody. Night, everybody.